Uh, welcome back to Radial Menu Tutorial. So, uh, in previous video, I think uh, we stopped here. So, uh, uh, we are uh, getting a, a pop-up radial. That's it's a very uh, small animation, just to make it look better rather than just uh, zoom out and zoom in so uh, as i said at the end of previous video we will make small adjustment to uh, uh, try to make it a uh, bit different a couple of options i'm giving uh, this is purely optional so if you want you can follow this so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to make uh, uh, make top bottom left and right appear uh, at once and uh, uh, the top left top right bottom left bottom right to appear uh, uh, a few frames later so let's let me show how to do that and uh, uh, this is this is for pure uh, beginners uh, so if, if you're uh, if you're already aware of what things are uh, i think you, you can ignore this so I'll just move this a uh, couple of frames. Uh, okay, I think I have to move it. Yeah. Left. So once you have set for the first button, uh, make sure uh, uh, the snapping is enabled so that uh, the next ones you can you can easily move to that point. You you don't need to uh, look for the numbers. So as you can see, it, it magne magnetically snaps there. So now I have center and then top left right and move a bit. Uh, I will move this also. Center I'm not touching. Okay, now let's see how this looks. Okay, let's see the numbers here and adjust them accordingly. Okay, the reason is the our animation uh, uh, has to be extended. Now uh, let's see. Okay, this is one type. Okay. This is one and I'll undo everything. So uh, likewise, you can move these uh, uh, a bit to right, uh, start the frames at a later point to make it appear like a, a flower kind of thing. Uh, first center one appears, then top, top right, uh, right, bottom right, bottom, bottom left, left and then top left. So like that you can you can arrange them one by one, one by one and you can increase the frames to make it appear like a flower thing. Uh, then one more thing you have, what you can do is uh, we need to add a sound. So when you uh, hover over this buttons, you should get a click sound. Uh, you can uh, enable the sound here itself. So hover sound. 
uh, I think uh, we have this from uh, the existing a list itself so okay this is fine so likewise uh, it has to be added for uh, each buttons and you can add for uh, click also so when you when you click on a button uh, you should get a okay so to hover uh, on this uh, we need the mouse uh, button to be enabled but as of now uh, it is uh, assigned uh, to the character so we have to bring up the uh, mouse cursor uh, once we open the menu so let's see how to do that Okay, open the ALS uh, player controller. Okay, so come here uh, after you uh, add uh, to viewport. We have to set input mode to UI only. Uh, sorry, so we can uh, we we can still have the control of moving the character. So better uh, input mode to game and ui and for player controller it has self and widget in focus this will be our uh, weapon menu head reference you can select it from the drop down but uh, we already have variable for it so and in mouse lock mode give it as lock always and i think should should be fine And after we remove uh, from the viewport, we have to uh, set it to game only. Okay, now let's see. Okay, okay we are not able to see the cursor, uh, but uh, we are getting the uh, we are able to move the character but uh, not turn okay let's fix that so here show mouse cursor set this to true and revert it back here now we have the cursor as you can see uh, when I hover I'm getting the click sound for each button okay so this is fine okay I, I think uh, we'll close this video here uh, in next video I'll I'll show how to uh, get some hover over uh, 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 settings like uh, when you hover on a button uh, uh, we'll make some changes to its uh, uh, appearance so that we will see in the next video thanks for watching bye